countries, uh, they have funds that they fund movies and television shows to create the right kind of images. Because you may say, well, Robert, it doesn't really matter. If you eat a heavy diet of reality shows with fighting and cursing and what have you, guess what? You're going to emulate what you see. If you see stuff that is about, you know, empowerment, making stuff better, making you think, you'll gravitate toward that. Right now in Hollywood, we are in a very, very bad place because every other channel, it is fighting and the Jerry Springer world of television, and that must be countered. In terms of, you know, the different divisions that are in this room now, ideally what Hollywood wants in a lot of the uh, creative community right now is like to be able to marry the money with the creative force and to marry that with the government. So that, because, you know, like when I think about PBS, I wish there was more programming on there that was targeted for people of color because the Antiques Roadshow doesn't speak to me. You know, all of those murder mystery shows from England don't really speak to <coughs> me, but it is the public broadcast station. So I think that there's a lot of work that has to be done, but part of the journey for entrepreneurs and idea people, and the other thing uh, we were talking in the back about protecting the idea. The reason I was saying that is that, and I have to say this to everybody in the room, it is only the person that is closest to you that can kill your dream. It is only the person that is closest to you that can kill your dream. That could be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your girlfriend, your husband. It is the person that will have your cell phone that will call you after this and say, how did it go? What did you learn? You think they're going to buy your idea? Whoever that person is, that's what I'm talking about. To protect your idea. Because you were asking me, and now you say, well, Robert, you kind of hesitated. Because as, as I've been in this business, when I give birth, like right now, I'm pregnant with ideas. So I'm pregnant. So, you know, I'm not going to talk about my kid because the kid hasn't come out. So I'm not, he's going to have a great head of hair. No, it's going to be really good. No, 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 no. You know, and then I'll say, oh, this is the next movie. This is the next baby. So when I say that, because there are certain fundamental things that have to be taken care of before you can get the idea of birth. If you say it to the wrong person, they don't even have to say anything. You can say, I got this great idea about this, this software that could do da 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 And all they have to say is, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. So I have to say that to everybody in the room because idea people, dreamers, dreamers into reality, you must protect it. Because once an idea goes up into the universe, anybody can grab it down. And everybody in the room that's an entrepreneur knows, I, was, I had that idea, and then all of a sudden, I was, oh, they took my, oh. No, they didn't take your idea. Once it comes into you, you know, it's like Michael Jackson said in his documentary, which was really interesting. He says, if I don't use these ideas that God gave me, he might give it to Prince. 